Hi, I'm Lisa Caldwell. And I'm Kimberly Mishkin, and we're the co-founders of SAS for Women. So Lisa, we get this question a lot, and I'm sure you hear this as well. Why do I need a divorce coach? How do you answer that question? Well, you don't. You could do it alone. You could suffer and endure the pain and anguish all by yourself, as people have done throughout history. But divorce is really not something that you should do by yourself. Yeah. You should find a partner, someone you can trust, someone that can give you an idea of what the lay of the land looks like, mm -hmm. can give you an idea of what the process is, right. can also help you appreciate the emotional component. Right and someone who will help you plan for afterwards. Right, afterwards. So, and I think I have a good example. Um, we had a client, or one of our early clients actually, if you'll remember, Julie. Julie mm. came to us, she was a mess. She was frustrated, anxious, um, and she was telling me that her lawyer wasn't listening to her and that she didn't think she was getting hurt at all. And she probably needed a new attorney. I suspected there was more to it than that and it wasn't so much about the attorney as it was the fact that she was my, she was so overwhelmed that she wasn't able to take in all the information. What we did was we consulted with the attorney and with permission I started to sit in on those meetings with her and it was apparent right away that she was not hearing half of what the attorney was saying. She didn't understand a lot of the legal terms. She, she could needed a not, translator. Right, she could not take it in. So we stopped often and I'd ask her if she understood what was happening and we'd consult with the attorney to make sure everybody was on the same page all along. I was taking notes for her, and this helped her walk away from each meeting understanding what had just happened and what she needed to do to prepare for the next meeting. She was also very emotional all the time, telling her story over and over and over again, which I know you know how that goes, and it was taking up time in the meeting, and the attorney was patient and trying to listen, but all, you know, billing our client that for all those minutes. So again, I helped keep her focused. And, and I bet the attorney really appreciated that if you could keep her focused on the task at hand. She really did. She really did. It helped move the case along much more smoothly than the way it started off. Um, she ended up going to trial and I went to court with her a number of times. And my role there was to keep her calm and grounded and focused each time she had to go up on the stand. So in the end, it, it enabled her to get through her case much more smoothly. Yeah, so what we know, certainly from Julie, and we know from our own clients ever since, is that this is something that is a really vital service, right. partnering with them, um, holding their hands, supporting them when meeting with professionals, going to court. Yeah. So you do have the opportunity, you could absolutely do this by yourself, navigate it solo. Resources are available, why not do it? Right, these things didn't exist 20 years ago. We don't have to do it the old way anymore. Now, there are many things available for women who are going through divorce.